So Zotero works by finding the information out from the source and bringing that information right in through your web browser. So to do that, we need to head over to the library homepage. And I'm going to run to a database. I'm going to choose education and I'm going to click into our database. I'm off campus, so I log in and now I'm ready to do my searching. And my area of research happens to be information literacy and social practices. So I'm going to do this search and I'm going to see what comes up. And if you notice my icon right here changed to a folder. So if I really want, I can click on one specific and I can go over to my Zotero and I've made a demo folder for this. You may want to just create a demo folder or create a folder for your assignment. And I'm going to make sure I've chosen that demo folder. And then notice my icons changed. So if I want to pull this into Zotero, I click the icon and it says I'm going to save to demo. I can change my folder if I need to. It, it will bring in the article information and the full text if it's available. And then when I look over here, here it is. Now I use APA format and that means the titles have to be formatted a little differently. All I need to do is right click and change to sentence case. Um, one more time, right click on the title and change to sentence case for my article title. And then I can just fix the first letter after the colon for APA. I double check to make sure everything else is good and that nothing got messed up when I brought it in. And now this is in my Zotero. So far, we've covered how to install Zotero, set up sync, add items, edit items, organizing, creating a bibliography, and now we're going to talk about configuring the full text. This allows you to find the article or book in our collection without having to do an independent search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this blue button and I'm going to copy the link. Depending on the browser you use, that language may look slightly different. I'm going to go over to Zotero and open up my preferences. I go to advanced and I paste in that link right here. So I can also search in Google Scholar. I'm going to do that same search and a book comes up. Now I see my icon changes to a book so I can click and we're going to add that right into demo. And you can see that it brought everything in. Uh, I'm going to change this to sentence case again because I work in APA and then just type the capital letter. I'm going to look through and make sure everything's right. Now this book having just come out a month ago, I'm recording this in September of 2020, so two months ago this book came out, that doesn't seem right to me. So I'm going to double check and I'm going to look and see about this book. What does it say? And it, it says that it's 2020, but the cover doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to click on and click through. I'm going to see what I can find here. And actually I see that it is copyright 2007. So I need to fix that piece of data. So I can just change this to 2007 and now I have the right information. I can now use the library lookup to find the book in Brockboard's collection. And so I do that. It takes me over and it says we do actually own it. And so if I wanted to, I could click sign in and then place a request to have this held for me for pickup and I would have my book and be happy.